So we are here in the Alice Silicon Pixel Laboratory. It is actually a clean room at CERN where the individual components of the Alice detector are integrated together and uh, tested before they are finally put into the experimental detector. So what you can see here in the back is the individual components of the Alice Silicon Pixel detector. It is actually the detector which is located closest to the interaction point. That means also closest to the beam pipe. Um, it is a very high density and high granularity detector because the high amount of particles generated in the collisions demand a, a very fine granularity of the detector in order to be able to separate individual tracks and also to uh, determine particles which have a very short time to live and which probably already decay before they reach the first detector. So here we are at the test bench of the Alice Silicon Pixel Detector. It consists of 10 sectors, so 10 individual parts, which are arranged around the beam pipe, so around the collision point. Uh, in total, there are 10 million pixel cells located in this detector. It consists uh, of individual sectors like this one, as you can see here. Um, the main part of the detector, the active part, is actually between uh, where my fingers indicate here, uh, consisting of hybrid silicon pixel detectors. Uh, this means that we have uh, very small and thin silicon sensors where the passing particles are actually detected and each uh, pixel cell on the silicon sensor is connected to the readout cell in a microelectronic chips. Um, the high granularity of this detector is also shown by the fact that you can see a very compact and highly integrated system here on uh, this test bench basically. Uh, here you can see the Alice Silicon Pixel Detector, in, in particular one uh, sector of this detector. And this is the optical fiber that we use to send the data to the acquisition uh, electronics. And these are the extenders that we use for power the detector. And um, this is also connected to the uh, tube for the cooling system. This is an uh, um, evaporated cooling system that use uh, C4 uh, F10 uh, um, as a, a liquid to cool the, down the system. Here you can see two parts of the mechanical support structure of the Alice Silicon Pixel Detector. It is also made of carbon fiber in order to have as little material for the passing particles that are generated in the collisions. The beam pipe is going to pass right through the center of the structure and the 10 sectors are going to be arranged at the inner part in the center of this mechanical support. So there will be five sectors mounted in the lower part and five sectors mounted on the top part. Together they will constitute the 10 sectors of the Alice Silicon pixel detector. On the outside of the structure are the other two detectors that make up the inner tracking system of ALICE, which is first the silicon drift detectors and then followed by the silicon strip detectors. As Petra already mentioned, we are building up now the silicon pixel detector here in the clean room. And what is very important for us is that we understand the detector is working properly before we actually put it into the ALICE cavern. So what we do here is we actually read out the detector from there into here into these electronic racks and these are the modules which are actually the modules which we will install in ALICE. So these modules will control the detector and will get all the data from the, um, from the detector and on this side here you will see uh, the actually computers which will control uh, the detector and read them out. So on all these uh, uh, software already has been made so that it can be used for the ALICE application. Right now I am verifying the test results of the ALICE silicon pixel detectors. What you can see here is the response of the silicon pixel detector to a radioactive source, a strontium-90 source. And what you can see here is how many pixels have been activated by this radioactive source and how many pixels did not respond to the radioactive source. And uh, the SPD silicon pixel detector has a very good efficiency of these uh, pump-ons. In this ladder, for example, here, we only have seven pixels missing out of 801,092 pixels per readout chip.